video I want to talk about twig catfish. The other name for this guy is uh, stick catfish and like you see behind me I have my 36 gallon tank where my little fellow lives and hopefully today I'll be able to answer some of the common questions that you might have before buying this guy. Let's get into it. This slender species looks like a stick or a twig in shape and coloration. The best uh, suitable environment for this guy has to be and preferably a planted uh, tank with uh, lots of hiding places because these guys are a bit too shy and they like to hide a lot actually and they only come out during the night time that's when I see that's when I see them the most uh, active the best uh, diet for these guys is pretty much they're largely herbivores so they like vegetable dietary component such as peas, lettuce and sometimes uh, you can throw them some of those algae, uh, algae wafers but uh, I noticed that personally that he never gets to them because all of my other fish likes to eat them before and he for some reason just ignores them so but his mainly his main diet is algae in the tank so you have to make sure that you have some of the algae in the tank, not a lot of course, but just enough to keep him uh, alive and happy. I had this guy for almost uh, 9 months already and he's considered to be an intermediate fish. So this means that it's not easy to keep him because he's very very sensitive to water changes. So when you guys keep this fish, Please be careful and look at your pH, uh, check it all the time because if there is a slight uh, di uh, temperature difference or a slight pH difference, he can very easily die and something can go wrong. And, but in general, they, they, can, they can be kept in groups, from, uh, actually a lot of them can live together but they do perfectly fine by themselves and they are not schooling catfish so they don't really care if they have somebody uh, to be with they, they usually prefer to be by themselves in general I have, he, I have him here by himself and he likes he enjoys this environment and the temperature which is best for him is anywhere between 70 to 79 Fahrenheit so anything more than 79 he can he can live in uh, 79 and more but the best one is 70 uh, to 79 also uh, these guys uh, when they breed they have adhesive eggs that are laid uh, and often in flowing water and are guarded by male or by both parents so these guys actually guard their eggs all the time so uh, just to have their success rate a bit higher of surviving Also their behavior. Let's talk about that a little bit. These guys are actually peaceful very peaceful and generally Retiring should not be kept with boisterous tank, tank mates What I mean by that is don't keep them with anyone who are very aggressive because these guys don't have any any defense mechanism against other fish and if you're gonna keep them with someone who's aggressive they will potentially stress them them out to the point where your twig catfish can die also their size can they're, they're, they can get a big they can get big by what I mean is uh, they, they can get for anywhere from six to nine inches depends on the environment you keep them in this uh, this cat this twig catfish is easily around seven inches already and I and I think he might make it to nine but you never know only time will tell also from my own experience I really enjoy the way this fish looks and he's very unique the way he especially when he's sitting on my driftwood which I built here and wrapped around with my uh, 
uh, Christmas moss. This guy, uh, I cannot even notice him sometimes. He, he is so well camouflaged. This is unreal. And for, I think that for every tank, it's a very uh, cool fish to have. And uh, in general, uh, I don't see any other problems with this guy. So please subscribe to my channel. It would really help me because I'm new to this uh, and I would like to grow my channel. And my goal is to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And when I reach 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So please subscribe to my channel, stay tuned. And if you have any questions or if you want me to talk more specifically about him or any other fish, please leave a comment down below and I will be more than happy to answer the question and um, hopefully make your day a bit better. So thank you very much guys and have a nice day. Bye bye.